Welcome to 3 Towers Investing Channel, where you can get the latest in finance, investment, and innovation. You may be one of the millions who had a New Year's resolution that you'll start saving and start budgeting. Now that we're nearing the third quarter of the year, let me ask you, what happened? Creating a budget is very good, like 50% of your money goes to this, 30% goes to that, and 20% goes to whatever. However, the reality is that many people still fail to continue budgeting for several reasons based on their situation. In this video, I'll share you an idea of what to do when budgeting fails. So stick around and click on that like button, share, and subscribe. A common recommendation for improving one's financial status is to create a budget. However, most people struggle with budgeting which can be compared to going to the gym, dieting, or stopping drinking Coca-Cola. The 67% of people who say they have a budget are also among the 33% who say they don't stick to it. But in my experience, the number is far higher. Budgets often work for a short while before getting bankrupt for a number of reasons. Probably there's a problem with your spending habits. We keep buying things we don't really need, and we can resist buying more and more stuff until we are in debt. We create a budget, but what happens after two months when your self-control wanes? Your monthly budget for the upcoming month is 50% above. You stop budgeting because it's too challenging and stressful, and you decide to give up. If you were able to stick to your budget, then congratulations! Because that is not something many people can do, including me. Now for those who fail to budget, observe yourself. Examining oneself is the first step. This might work better for the majority of people than giving up. Examine your spending patterns and the reasons behind them in the context of your whole life rather than just one area where you needed to cut back. In my experience, I found out that many people waste their spare money for the month. This may sound odd, but it worked for me, and I'm going to share it with you. Who knows, might also work for you. By using a few of the techniques I'll be discussing, I was able to complete this task in a year. Instead of budgeting, I managed to do the reverse, which sounds awful and bad. Rather than saving money, I had to make plans to spend more. Although many people think it is very extreme, it is not. Making my unpleasant experiences into positive ones was necessary for me. It was challenging since I had a job I didn't like and because I had a 9 to 5 p.m. job, I didn't enjoy. I wanna leave this job because I dislike working on the weekends, on holidays, and at night. I wasn't content with our apartment because it was too small and I didn't like the environment either. Now listen to this, it could be a good motivator if you're stuck in a job you don't enjoy, unable to settle down and start a family, or otherwise unable to follow your interests. Then I started to realize that I don't want to be in this situation. Due to these unfavorable circumstances, I felt driven to save as much as I could since I knew that if I did, I would have $25,000 in a year if we saved X amount of money. If I can save between 50% and 75%, I can move to a better place, which is exactly what I did. Many people in our area justified their actions by saying that they didn't enjoy their homes or employment. I didn't have a good day and my job was demanding, so I don't feel like doing anything. I want to relax, watch TV, and take a seat. I'll spend money on anything because I deserve to relax or go out drinking after a difficult week. Same circumstance, but two different approaches and realization, mine and theirs. A good realization and a good motivation have a million times more power than a budget. Many people experience awful things in their life, but some people are only concerned with the bad things that have happened to them. We've both experienced a lot, but depending on how you choose to interpret it, it might either serve as motivation to make changes for your family and yourself or as an excuse to continue doing things the way they are. So I tried a couple of other things instead of creating a budget which I usually fail. 
The first is to concentrate on what kind of future I want. Secondly, finding motivation in life's negative experiences. Third, create an investing strategy. I've deliberately tried to keep up my preoccupation with money and bettering my life by listening to people, watching people, and reading books on money and success topics. Every year, I read Rich Dad Poor Dad. I need to take action and discussing money with others helps me stay focused on my priorities. Budgeting and decision making must come after observation and tracking. It's important to keep in mind that when you analyze all of your expenses at the end of the month, you shouldn't belittle or make fun of yourself. Just look at them, keep an eye on them, and start figuring out if they're in line with your principles and goal. Don't spend money not because of budgeting, but because of your goal, your dreams, your family, and you. This is where I've ended up after observing and seeing all of this because I only make money from YouTube. Before I buy something, I often ask myself if spending is a wise decision. Since I don't have much money, I want to make certain that I'm achieving my goals and getting something worthwhile in return. Minimalism has been useful to me in achieving that. I realized how little of what I was buying was actually necessary. Although I wanted them at the time, it doesn't matter if I still had them now or one week later. Only a few of those 50, 100, or 500 dollar stuff actually make your life better and happier. When the time comes to buy, you'll finally realize that buying this doesn't contribute anything. Will I be different at the end of the month or the next month if I buy this? Will it in any way make my life better? Most likely. The answer is no. But will I make changes in my life by quitting my work, moving, investing, saving money for my children's college, or giving money to others? It definitely will. So that was the difference, and I went from having a savings rate of 75% to being excessively frugal because I was so focused on improving my life and moving on to other things. Even if I appreciated them, those were two severe years of my life. All of this occurred as a result of the lessons I taught myself about approaching every purchase with a minimalist attitude and maximizing value. I now have a little bit more flexibility as a result and I'm ready to spend a little more money on having fun and saving time. I don't have a lot, so my priorities right now are maintaining my motivation, developing myself, and conserving money. Additionally, I'm making sure I have the essentials, such as the flexibility to take a week, a month, or even six months off. A million times more important than material possessions is freedom. It changed my life. Therefore, I'm hoping it can help others too. If budgeting fails, start looking at yourself and ask where you want to be. Simply take action and make it happen. I hope you learned something from our video today. If you do, it would be kind of you if you can share this video with others and inspire them. Who knows, it might change their lives too. Thank you for watching. We are 3 Towers Investing Channel.